Welcome to Innovation Talks. Here in this session, we explore the different routes to make our homes more sustainable, to live more sustainably. There are different opportunities to do it with home energy management. Today, we are going to talk about the new energy landscape. I'm together with Ignacio. Hello, Ignacio. Ignacio Hello. is Offer Management Director at Schneider Electric. Yes, thank you, Joanne. And I will be your host for this session. I am uh, Joanne Gig, and I'm in charge of communications. So we are here today to talk about the top driving changes in the, re the residential space. So let me begin with an observation. It seems to me that home sweet home is rapid, uh, rapidly becoming home sustainable home as well. Do you agree? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's part of the new trends that we are uh, observing, and this really obeys different trends that we're observing out there. That's why, you know, our home has to be more and more sustainable, more and more intelligent, and help us remain to remain uh, really uh, be comfortable in it. What do you consider to be the main drivers of the new energy landscape, as this is a topic of today? Yeah, you know, there, there, are, there are five major trends that we uh, observe and track uh, very, very closely. Um, uh, first of all, it has to be uh, it has to deal with uh, sustainability. You know, the importance of being green, the importance of really using our energy uh, resources uh, responsibly. Secondly, it has to be uh, really related to the legislation and the efforts that different governments are putting out there. The third one is rising costs and also the increase of energy demand that we are uh, experiencing uh, right now. The carbonization, the, the, the commitments that we have done uh, in terms of decarbonization at different levels, it's also uh, very, uh, very uh, important. And lastly, the aging infrastructure. You know, we have all the uh, equipment uh, out, out there, the, the utility grid, that is not quite capable to really be able to convey and transport all these uh, new energy demands that we're um, experiencing right now. That, that's, that seems to be a true change in paradigm, right? In the way we produce and consume energy at home. Yeah, for sure. You know, you know we, we, we have a theme here is uh, electric. We call it the rise of the prosumer. Anyone knows what a prosumer is? An idiot? Two cigarettes, fellas. Exactly. You know, a, a prosumer is a person that not only consumes energy, but is also able to produce it, use it, monitor, and control it. So this is where we come in, right? We, we, we make it easy. We put the solution out there for you to truly own your energy, to be sustainable, to be responsible, to build this uh, sense of resiliency and uh, to really be uh, comfortable uh, in your home. Let, let's now talk about uh, how it affects home builders and homeowners. Right now, when we look at the home construction and renovation market, they're going through all kinds of disruptions, right? Not only shortage in material, energy is, is becoming really completely different. We talked about this change in paradigm. So how is this changing the way we think about designing, building, operating, maintaining our homes, especially in the way we use energy? Yeah, it, it, it's part of the challenge that we are uh, observing right now. Um, the, 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 the trend or, or the current uh, state is, you know, to operate in silos. So that is extremely challenging for a homeowner, for an electrician, for a home builder to start, you know, really piecing uh, things, things together. Here in Schneider, we have um, the, the philosophy of really designing everything with a strong sense of connectivity, of consolidation, of having uh, IoT ready uh, type of devices just to precisely support that uh, migration that we are, um, are experiencing right now in terms of how we conceive our homes being, being sustainable. Uh, we will speak you know, in, a, in a couple more minutes how these solutions look like, how we bring it all together under the same uh, umbrella from the physical and from the digital perspectives. So 
maybe let's let's deep dive into the details. So what does it look like? What does this picture look like? Yeah, so it's a consolidated system, right? It's a consolidated system that really lets you take um, true ownership of your of your energy from uh, the utility uh, consumption coming from the uh, from, from the grid, from uh, the generation capabilities that you have uh, in your phone, the PV solar system, the backup uh, battery uh, systems, uh, even a generator, right? How, how you bring all these together, use them efficiently, access uh, different layers of uh, monitoring, different layers of control, everything well supported by intelligence that helps you address different uh, use cases and situations that you face on a daily, daily basis. Just to give you an example, uh, John and, and the rest of the audience, uh, in California, any Californians here? I mean, you, you, you guys experience uh, uh, power shutdowns, right? You know, constantly because of a wildfire or a concern of a wildfire. Faces like that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's painful, it's painful, right? Because, you know, especially after COVID, our, our lives have changed. We, you know, many of us went back uh, home to work from there. Our kids were, uh, you know, being schooled uh, now from home. Uh, also, you know, the, the other major trend in terms of uh, aging population, just staying at home. So it's, it's no surprise that you might be really relying on a medical device on 24 uh, seven type of, uh, of a basis. So just imagine the type of disruption, the type of concerns that it brings when you don't have power. This is when, when we truly come in and say, okay, we have this really uh, consolidated smart system that would let you build this sense of resiliency, this build, this uh, sense of uh, peace of mind that regardless of what happens outside your home, you will have continuity of power. You will be able to be uh, powering this medical device 24 seven. You will be able to uh, keep doing your, your, your work because we take all these uh, different um, resources and use them effectively, again, from the physical and from the digital perspective. So th there must be a way to, uh, uh, to store this intelligence. Where does this intelligence sit in the system then? Yeah, so it, it sits at different levels, okay? And I, I typically refer to it as three layers of intelligence supported by monitoring control capabilities. So when we speak about a service central device, that's really the main panel of your house. That main panel has a brain that will constantly collect information at different levels to tell you how your energy is being used, where is it going, and how you can use it more effectively. Associated to that, you will have control at the branch circuit level, meaning that different loads and circuits in your house will be able to react to different situations, to different routines, and to different criteria uh, that, you, that you establish. Now, on the other side of things, you're also able to decide where you're pulling energy from. Are you pulling it from the traditional utility grid? Are you pulling it from the battery? Are you pulling it from your photovoltaic uh, system? You decide, or you let your system decide based on your preferences. And finally, with our wiring devices, at the point of use, you also have control, meaning that small um, loads, small appliances just connected to a regular outlet will also be able to, con to be uh, controlled and react to these two different situations. Again, rooting back to the brain and the, con the main control that we have with the main panels. I will definitely look at my electrical panel differently. I must admit that's the type of thing I usually avoid to, to see too much, too closer, but yeah. So with machine intelligence as a key tool, home energy management use, uh, home energy use and management is evolving drastically. It, 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 it is, right? I mean, to, to, we, we live in a connected and digital world. That's, that's our reality, right? And, and we have created all this great technology for different purposes that have to do with uh, safety, that have to do with comfort, that have to do with peace of mind. It, 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 it should be no surprise that the electrical distribution system of your house evolves towards, you know, following that, 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 that philosophy, having, having that type of um, a vision, really in terms of, uh, of evolution. And it really obeys two, 
two main elements, right? One is the di digitization that we're speaking about, all the ability to connect different devices, all the ability to set different routines using a user interface, but it also has to do uh, with electrification. How we move away from fossil fuels, how we are more uh, environmentally responsible, and how do we push for that sustainability as there? That is key uh, for humankind to really address as soon as possible. Let's continue to dig, to dig into this topic, and, and we see a, a big transformation as well. It, energy used to be one way, right? Greed, home. Greed, home. And that's all. And now it's a two-way street. Yep. Yeah, and, and, and you know, we, we like to use that metaphor a lot, right? It, it's not, it's not one uh, single directional uh, type of uh, uh, flow anymore. Now it's multi-directional, really. Um, you know, to, to the earlier point, we're pulling energy from, from the grid, but what happens if the, if the grid goes down? Well, you know, I have my, my photovoltaic uh, system. I can just create this um, a local grid uh, for, for my home. If I have a battery, I can also pull uh, energy, energy from there. I can bring a, a generator, and I can also step into these uh, dynamics of uh, demand response events, time of use, how do I really uh, increase the level of efficiency of how I use the energy in my, in my house? So really, really exciting. And again, everything supported by this uh, system living under one umbrella. And now we see um, a very interesting move as well from government. We we'll see a very, very um, urgent need to move to home electrification. And to this perspective, the, the, the recent Inflation Reduction Act mm -hmm. acts as a revolutionary way to manage energy at home, right? Co co correct. And, and you know, the, the Inflation Reduction Act is, is really, you know, a, a progression in terms of how we see all these uh, government uh, legislation incentives uh, e e evolving. You know, go, going back to California, Title 24, it's no surprise that every single uh, house that is being built right now shall have solar, right? And I heard now it's four or five states in the U.S., right? Yes. It's not even California. So California now. is leading the way. Yeah. We were starting to see other, other states, you know, uh, Texas with the winter storm that hit them a couple of years ago. You know, that's, that's when it really uh, hit uh, Texas. We start to see it in the, uh, in the northeastern part of the, uh, of the U.S., so it, it's, it's really the beginning of this major uh, adoption and, and way of thinking how a zero net energy house has to be created, has to be um, upgraded, you know, if it, if it already uh, exists. And how do we ensure that we get that important continuity of power while being responsible uh, with, the, uh, with the environment? That, that's really a, a game-changing news, I think, for the home electrification, this Inflation Reduction Act. It's critical that these sustainable technologies are also available to all, right? Otherwise, if it's just the elite, it doesn't matter. The, the Inflation Reduction Act may, make it affordable, right, for all of us to really jump into that electrification and digitization uh, environment. But that being said, Equipping your home with this kind of technology could be a challenge, right? What, what are the challenges that people are facing? It, it, it is a challenge nowadays because, you know, to, to the earlier point that we were sharing, right now it's just like in silence. So if, if you're an electrician, if you're a home builder, you know, if you're a homeowner, you might be totally uh, lost out there in terms of how do I get all these different pieces how, how do I make them talk to each other? How do I connect them? H how do I build something meaningful and functional that will deliver a true value proposition to me? And on top of that, uh, you know, we have labor shortage. So that's like the perfect storm, right? I mean, you, you, have, you have this very uh, a fragmented uh, space uh, with no one really knowing how to put it uh, all, all, all together, and then you have the, the labor shortage. But that's where we come in, Joan. That's where we come in with our, with our solutions. We, we have something very clear in mind when we 
conceive these solutions, right? When we start, you know, thinking about in uh, about them, when we start uh, designing them, and when we start uh, really thinking about how to put them out there in the uh, in the market, it starts with that strong sense that everything has to be consolidated, everything has to talk to each other, everything has to reside under the same umbrella, and very importantly, you as a, a, as the end user will have all the information accessible in one single user interface. Nobody's doing that nowadays. And, to, and you know, my, my final point on this, on this regard, it's just so simple to install, so streamlined, that that labor shortage is, is not an issue uh, a, anymore, right? You know, the, the crews can come in, do their job, Everything is very um, uh, straightforward. Everything is very uh, easy to, uh, to put together. And we, we start to change that paradigm of the silos into truly integrated solutions. Can you give some concrete benefits, concrete use cases in which um, homeowners can benefit from the system? Yeah, uh, absolutely. You, you know, if you're a homeowner nowadays, if you bring solar, you will have a user interface for solar. If you bring your battery, you might have another user interface for battery, and there is really nothing connecting it to, to, to what happens inside the house at a highly detailed level. With our solution, we're able to say, okay, you know, this is, the, uh, this is uh, how much energy I am generating, this is how much energy I am storing. So in case uh, that the grid uh, goes down, these are the critical loads that I want to ensure they always get power. Now, maybe, maybe the, um, uh, the blackout la is, is lasting for days, right? Which again, it's, it, it, we shouldn't be surprised to, uh, uh, to many of us. How do I really increase or, or optimize that amount of energy that I have uh, stored in my, in my battery? How do I get the best out of my, of my photovoltaic system? And that's the type of intelligence that my panel gives me, right? And it will tell me, okay, these are the loads that you're using right now. If you start shutting down or powering off these loads, then your battery life will be extended by this much. Very bright. Okay. Bright. And, and, and again, you know, by bringing everything together, by, by putting this information really on your hand, we create a very strong value proposition. We, we create this differentiating uh, factor and we simplify the life of a lot of people involved in that value chain. So Schneider Home is the system, right? That you are, you are describing? Co correct. And you know, it's, it's a system that we're uh, featuring in this uh, uh, 2023 uh, CES uh, edition. If you guys have a chance, go, go and check it out. It's, it's really a very uh, sleek uh, type of, uh, of, of system. But really the value comes in terms of the functionality. The functionality that it delivers to the electrician, to the solar installer, to the person who is really bringing that uh, backup battery system into, uh, into the place, and ultimately to the, uh, to, to the homeowner, which is a big change in terms of how we conceive and think about the electricity uh, usage in a, in a residential space. And probably today, if you install this system, you would have one app per, per Per appliance, right? Per, um... That's no longer the case with, uh, with Schneider Phone. Thank you so much, Ignacio. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. We are super proud indeed to present Schneider Home. So feel free to, to join the teams over there to see the, the product themselves and the app. We encourage you as well to put your sustainability pledge in this on button, which used to be white and progressively it's turning to green. So we want at the end of CES, we have one day and a half left, that this on button is completely green with the sustainability pledges of everyone here. So, and, and feel free to take pictures as well of our booth and, uh, and, and uh, yourself joining the good fight. Yeah. Thank you, Ignacio. Thank you. Check the Schneider.com uh, system. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.